Media. Lahore city in the Punjab in eastern Pakistan is experiencing a boom in business and residential growth. The Lahore airport is the second largest airport of Pakistan and uh, geographically it is uh, located at such a central position where it can be a hub for the Central Asian region and then the Far East region. But from mid-December until February, the winter climate brings dense fog, causing a problem for airports. More than a hundred flights were cancelled in Lahore last year due to low visibility. The biggest challenge which Lahore faced was fog. The flights used to be disturbed, the schedule used to be disturbed and it used to be a quite an inconvenience for the passengers and people traveling in and out of Lahore. Some of the aircrafts they were coming into Lahore and they were going back to Dubai. Some of them were landing at Karachi because this part of the area like Lahore, Islamabad, Sialkot, these are the major airports of, of the Punjab. Once Lahore is getting the fog, these airports are also getting the fog. When aircraft have to divert, it becomes extremely expensive for both airlines and airports and causes a lot of inconvenience for the passengers. The flights were delayed, their visas were getting expired and it cost the airlines a lot of money in diversions, taking the passengers to the hotels. In 2015, ADB Safegate and Lahore Airport signed a contract to work together towards weatherproofing the airport. A project as complex as this can easily take several years to implement, but ADB Safegate agreed to completing it within 12 months. Yeah, basically, the, the client had a requirement. The fog season was approaching and they wanted it done before the fog season. And, and uh, we had some debates about if that was possible or not, of course. But we agreed finally on, on, on a method and that also uh, pushed the client to make it possible for us. So we are working nighttime, daytime, whenever to, to be able to uh, keep the airport open in parallel to doing this project uh, in, in rapid pace. The challenge was to keep the airport operational and land aircraft in low visibility before winter. The first step was installing ILS and new LED lights on the runway. This made it possible to increase landing capacity and guarantee five movements per hour. So we have installed new runway centerline lights which were completely new. This were, these lights were not existing before so we have now already finished the runway, the runway is done. We continue now with the taxiways um, where we do uh, pretty much the same. In step two, more focus is being put on the tower. Besides the development of new operational procedures, new airfield, gate and tower systems including ACE mix will be installed. This will increase throughput from 5 to 25 movements per hour in all weather conditions. To complete the weatherproofing of an airport in only 12 months is unheard of until now. Yeah, in the beginning nobody could believe that you can do at least the first milestone which uh, contains the upgrade of the runway to Katsribi together with the ILS, that you can achieve this in, in, in uh, five, six months. And this was only possible because we worked all together. You know, quite often the people speak about teamwork, but it's, uh, they just say it, but it's not real teamwork. Yeah, and they, they run in all directions, but here we worked all in one direction. For everybody the target was clear. The traditional way of doing uh, buying or upgrading your airport is that, of course, first of all you have to realize your problem. And that's pretty easy, that's straightforward. You realize that you cannot land the number of aircrafts you want. But going from there to understand what's the solution, that's a different thing. We are already uh, getting offers from other airlines. Now they want to come in. Some of the already existing airlines, now they want to increase their number of flights. You have more flights, more economic doors being opened for the city. How do you do this kind of project in 12 months? It is a teamwork. Airport and the supplier have to work together and together also with the civil aviation and the air traffic controllers. So if the airport is, is willing to trust the supplier, you will have the most efficient solution. 
it saves your headache and it saves the headache of the airlines as well and it's a real comfort to the passenger.